Okay, guys. Um, this is our code on worksheet that we're doing, and I thought I'd make a little video um, to show you guys how to actually do this worksheet because um, it can be confusing at times, but then sometimes it's uh, for other people it's very self-explanatory. Um, what we want to do is we want to find the uh, DNA triplet from the mRNA codon and then the tRNA anticodon and then the amino acid. And like we were doing in the previous video for protein synthesis and, um, or not, yeah, DNA and protein synthesis. Um, we're going to do pretty much the same thing here when we're going to find that our um, complementary codons, our complementary base pairs. And um, in the video it tells you in DNA adenine binds with thymine and cytosine binds with guanine and RNA we have adenine binding with what was that? Not thymine, uracil now because we have uracil and RNA and not thymine. And we have cytosine and guanine still binding together. Okay. So. So we look and we see mRNA we've been given a codon AAG okay our triplet our DNA triplet is going to be based off the mRNA so what binds with A T thymine what binds with A here T and what binds with G C now it wants us to find the uh, tRNA, the anticodon that's going to bind to the mRNA. That's going to be A binds with T? Nope, not in RNA. Because in RNA, A binds with U. So now you're going to have U's. U. And then we have another A over here, so it's going to bind with U and G. So we're going to have C here because G and C bind together. They're complementary base pairs to each other. Now it wants you to find the amino acid. Well, like I said, this is a codon chart. So we're going to use codons to look up the amino acids. Where are the codons located? on the mRNA, okay? Now this is very common for people to get confused. Um, we do not use the tRNA, we use the mRNA. So going back over here, AAG, so we're looking up AAG. Well we want to start in the very middle, the very center, and then work our way out, okay? So it was AAG, so we have A here, in this, so we know it's within this fourth. Then we look and we say, okay, A again. So we're going to look within this circle, A, and then we're going to look and it says G. So we find G right here and it's lysine.
Okay. And I'm sorry this is so sloppy, but um, I don't have much. I don't have any other software to do this on. Um, GGC. Okay, that's our DNA triplet. So we want to find our mRNA that goes with this. And we know that G binds with C. J binds with C. C binds with G. We want to find our tRNA. And that's just going to be C binding with G. C binding with G. And G binding with C. When we look up our amino acid, we use our codon, which is found on the mRNA. So we look for CCG. So again, we're going to go to the inner circle here. Let me just erase this so nobody gets confused. Oh, well, that's not good. Never mind. Um, we'll just move on. So again, it was CCG, so we are in this fourth of the codon chart, because there's C in the middle, and then we work our way out. So we find our other C in, it, in the second row, and there it is, C. Then we find our third letter in the third row, and it's G, so it's proline. Okay, and it goes the same, you know, on down through here. Now there are other questions um, that are on the second page, but I feel like those were, um, if you can answer these questions, then you can answer the other ones. But if you have trouble with anything, you can always email me, um, and I will get back to you as soon as possible, okay? So I hope this clarified some things for some of you. If it did not, again, ask me some questions, okay? All right.